you know, I reflect over almost 11 years with, with the company. This is the year that I am most proud of for sure with the accomplishments of our teams across the board. Every day we get up, we come to work, we leave our families behind, believing that they're going to be safe. That is what I believe human good is all about. And we have stepped up to the plate big time in 2021. The potential is to see how amazing our team members are and to see them grow. We have had incredible wins as one team and it has felt amazing. I feel like all of us kind of came into our own because of the synergy that we built in 2020 through COVID and how that really amplified into so much goodness in 2021. It really was a transformational year. And it's one of those years where as part of that transformation, I think we moved away from looking at COVID as a crisis that needed to be managed like a crisis and more like just a condition of everyday life. And as I look back on 2021, I think that's what I'm most proud of is how our team members, our residents, our families, our stakeholders and partners work together to make this a year of real impact, of real positive momentum Despite all the forces that are pulling us back and, and pushing us aside, nothing got in the way. For me, inclusion is really actually very simple. It just means that everyone feels like they belong and they have that strong sense of connection to human good. So 2022, is gonna be a working year where we're going to roll out all of that planning and those goals. By the end of 2023, you're gonna see a completely different organization. And it's because of the work we're doing with the Inclusion Council. So I love the tagline that, that everybody means everybody at Human Good. When we say everyone, we mean everyone. And so at Human Good, when we talk about inclusion, we're not talking about our team members. We're not talking about our board members. We're not talking about residents. We're talking about the Human Good family. And when we get that work right, we will be a transformational organization, not just for ourselves, but for our field. We felt like it was really important that our team members were safe and also keeping our residents safe. And we felt like there was no other avenue for us to go down but a vaccine mandate. That takes a lot of courage. Coming to work every day took a lot of courage. It was a tremendous effort um, and, and partnership between these pharmacies that our teams were able to provide these vaccine clinics on site at our communities. The safety factor, that message that we do care and we're gonna take these precautions, resonated, it wasn't a turn off, it actually made a difference. So on the one hand, we're facing enormous cost pressures. We're having this enormous weight placed on our shoulders uh, kind of globally with supply chain issues, labor issues, cost of goods, inflation. When you look at the culture that Andy and Annika and, and the teams have established uh, in finance, and you look at the accomplishments that just that group achieved in the past year, it is truly kind of astonishing. I'm proud of everything that we accomplished. I'm proud of the courage of our team members. We saw opportunity in a difficult time and we took advantage of it. It was the things that we didn't know we'd be dealing with and the opportunities that we took advantage of. And the team stepped up and helped us get there. 2021 was a year full of successes. I mean, look at living care, you know? We barely knew living care in 2020, and now living care is part of human good. And living care is a great organization. As we share our culture um, as human good, and we talk about the impact we make, the courage that we have, the innovations, and we see what other organizations are doing, it helps us fine tune ourselves in order to better serve our residents and our team members. When the pandemic hit, it kind of forced all of us to change and it was a good change. We found ourselves kind of being maybe a little bit of a industry disruptor in a positive way. I think uh, the great adoption of the digital solutions is really transforming the way we do our business. I'm very proud of uh, what the team achieved. On one side, if you look at the IT, we need to build and operate a strong, secure and scalable technology foundation. 
So we have built redundant internet, phone service, UPS protection of the IT equipment, the security enhancement. I think it's a huge uh, uh, progress or achievement. I want to recognize my whole team for doing that. That is something to boast, you know, on every corner. 70% of our communities achieve that recognition. And that is during a tumultuous year like we had this year. We have incredible leadership and teams and residents um, and those that we're serving. I see so much potential for growth in Human Good University. And I think that it's such an important tool for retention. And it's the opportunity to really develop Human Good University in a way that differentiates us, makes us more desirable as an organization. We continue to grow the bench in the organization. We brought some solid people on. I can't wait to see the kind of work that they're able to do in the future. I have been incredibly amazed this past year by the resilience and the passion that our team members showed. We are a better community now than we were in 2019. That's amazing to me that we've done that through all of this difficult time. I'm excited to say that this year we hired Angela Champlin, an expert in dementia and memory support. And just so impressed with her energy, enthusiasm, her heart, her vision for what our memory support neighborhoods can be and will be. We've really built out a strong accounts receivable team. That team is clicking on all cylinders. We got a new leader in Gwen Vangelista and we're, we're off and running. I love the Inspire Awards. The Inspire Awards are, are, I think, my favorite part of the year. We just have the best people in the world, and we are so blessed with the passion that people show up with and bring to their work every single day. To have the opportunity to look across the Human Good family and lift people up who embody everything we stand for and celebrate how they live our brand, how they live the Human Good promise. We see people who are living our values every day, coming to work with passion, coming to work, determined to make sure that other people feel relevant and included. And so to call that out in an awards program like Inspire Me is exciting. You saw uh, an incline of prospective residents really looking at how COVID affected them and wanting to have a sense of community. I still believe that a lot of the, the work we did in 2020 when we stopped selling and we just focused on relationships really helped solidify the trust factor. I think it really made a difference. Our lead generation this year has been like I had never seen before. One of the reasons I really love working for this company is there's a progressiveness. We're looking at people as they're just getting started. Where do they want to be? Where do they see themselves in five years? Just like you might ask me that, or I might ask you that. Our residents are no different, they're just people. It doesn't matter what their ages are. They have goals, they have hopes, they have dreams, they have plans. One of our big successes in 2021 in the East has been our occupancy numbers, particularly at uh, Spring Mill Point, the mansion at Rosemont, and Rydal Waters. We've welcomed 48 new residents to this campus under these circumstances. Amazing. So, you know, serving here and working here over the last year has been challenging, absolutely. But we've chosen to rise above that and we've done it collectively together. Seeing all of how people work together in order, you know, the importance of teamwork and it's just beyond anything. It's been life changing and you know, I'm so grateful for that human connection. I think unprecedented can also describe the resiliency and everything that the team members managed to take care of for the residents to keep them safe and to keep them comfortable throughout this time. I was grateful for my fellow team members that I think we were all going through this collective experience of humanity. I'll always look back at that, that time 
that vulnerable time and be really grateful for my organization, for the, the protection that Human Good offered me during that time. In 2020, we applied for capital magnet funds. In 2021, we learned that we were successful. We were granted five and a quarter million dollars, very flexible dollars that we could put into projects where needed, and that turned out to be essential. I look at our team members, at our residents, at our families, at our stakeholders and business partners, all of whom have, have worked arm in arm, heart to heart, hand in hand, to advance the mission of this organization in ways that, that truly just leave me speechless. The reason why I've stayed with Human Good for almost 27 years and why we have such great tenure and such great people in this organization is because we believe in what we do. One word that would be most important for me as I look back on 2021, the word would be gratitude. I just am so incredibly um, awed by our team and everything that um, everyone's done and all the way that the residents came together and supported us. It was just inspiring. I am so thankful to our team members for their perseverance. Never before have I witnessed the innate sense in all of us to support one another. I'm so thankful and so grateful to have been here doing all this work. I want to say thank you um, to our team members and our residents for being so graceful. We pulled it together and it's just such a proud moment to look back on. I am so proud of our team members for coming to work with enthusiasm and passion and commitment every day. On behalf of the Board of Directors for Human Good, I want to thank the team members. I would like to thank them for their faith uh, in Human Good. After everything that we've been through, everyone's smiling. Folks that showed up did it better um, and with a more pure heart than I could have ever imagined. So I'm just so thankful for them and all that they gave of themselves in 2021.